Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Gebo the Shaman, and today we're talking about the sign of Aquarius in the 6th house. So, what does it mean when we have the sign of Aquarius in the 6th house in our D1 birth chart? Um, as you guys may know, I'm a Vedic Astrologer, so if you would like a Vedic Astrologer reading with me, then you can go to vincent.thunderwizard.com, links are down below. And then if you want to check out all my products and services, you can go to Vincent or you can go to Gebo the Shaman dot or Linktree slash Gebo the Shaman. There you go. <laughs> and you guys can see all my my products and services listed here and here. So if you guys want to, you can check those out. Um so um Aquarius in the sixth house. So in order to kind of understand, well, any placement in astrology, but um, today we're talking about Aquarius in the 6th house. So in order to understand Aquarius in the 6th house, we need to understand um, what Aquarius means and what the 6th house means. So Aquarius has to do with um, its rebelliousness, its, um, you know, New Age technology, high-end technology, you know, uh, technology that helps us and, and, like, gives us a better future, a better, um, you know, more productive, more efficient society, things like that. Aquarius is all about helping society to become, uh, you know, more, to become better, to become more utopian, to become, uh, the best it can be, you know, the... These people are, are futurists, they are, um, you know, humanitarians and things like that. So, um, you know, Aquarius, that, that's what Aquarius is, really. Um, and then, so Aquarius is the sign of the, the old man pouring out water on, you know, to the people, giving water to the people. So this represents uh, pouring out knowledge, pour, pouring out wisdom, pouring out, um, you know, all the, you know, good things, good things in life. So um, Aquarius is the, the long-term uh, rewards for your efforts. So um, and then we have the sixth house, which is the sixth house is the house of your enemies, the house of your health. It's the house of um, your daily work, your your work routines, your work habits, things like that. It's um, the daily work that you do and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, so Aquarius, or the sixth house is all about your, you know, your, like, the daily habits, the daily routines that you do, your, your daily fitness habits, your daily work habits, your daily home habits, like, what do you do every day and that's that's the sixth house so the sixth house is also um your service to other people so um you know so if you have so if you have this placement um that means that you are a virgo ascendant so that means you're a virgo ascendant so um I would uh, check out my video on Virgo Ascendance because with uh, Aquarius in the 6th house you have Virgo Ascendant so it's good to know what your whole chart is all about and that's what my uh, video on Virgo Ascendance is designed to do. So, um, so Aquarius in the 6th house basically is um, so that represents like um you know it's it's basically where your your daily habits your daily work routines and things like that so in your daily habits and on work routines um you might be you might be dealing with um a lot of people like a large like large groups of people and you might also be dealing with technology or like higher end technology, um, you know, 
advanced technology that helps you, you know, help society and things like that. So you could be a computer person, you could be a, um, someone who helps like humanitarianism and things like that. Uh, you know, you could be a nurse, you could be a doctor, um, things like that. So, um, so yeah, so Aquarius in the sixth house, Aquarius basically has to do with, um, you know, there's, uh, has to do with, like, new age technology. It's very futuristic, very, um, it wants to create a utopian society, so, you know, so a lot of your work might be going towards creating a better society and things like that. Uh, you could be involved in government work, you could be involved in, um, you know, humanitarian causes and things like that. Um, so yeah. Um, let's see, anything else I should say about Aquarius in the sixth house? So. Uh, one of the things that's important to know with Aquarius in the sixth house is that um, the sixth house is basically your your house of enemies, and with Aquarius here, I don't really see any like big conflicts or anything like huge with enemies because Aquarius is a very benevolent sign, so it's it's going to it wants to bless you, so you won't probably. You probably won't have any enemies, or very few, and, um, you know, um, your enemies will either, <laughs> you'll either pour knowledge into your enemies, or, 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 like, wisdom, and, you know, stuff like that, or, or your enemies will want to bless you, or, like, you know, be, be the ones to pour knowledge into you, I don't know. <laughs> um, Anyway, um, so yeah, um, if you're as confused about this placement as I am, or <laughs> if you want to know more about this placement, then, um, then you can, uh, check out where your Saturn is placed, so, uh, because Saturn basically rules this planet, or this, this, uh, sign, Aquarius, so yeah, um, so Saturn rules Aquarius, so, in order to kind of be get a better idea of what's going on in your f in your sixth house, um, check out where your Saturn is placed, and that'll tell you more. Um, another thing to get more information about what's going on in this house is looking at any any planets that you have in this house or any planets that are aspecting this house. So, so if you have a an empty house. Uh, no planets in this house, then you would look at what planets are aspecting this. And that will give you even more detail about what's going on in this house. Alright guys, so I guess that does it for me t for today. Um, if you would like a Vedic Astrology reading, you can check me out at vincent.thunderwizard.com and um, yeah, so it's, it's a great uh, resource for you there. Um, I also do distance energy healing, support groups, career life coaching, uh, shamanic ritual magic courses, emotional awareness course. I have a whole bunch of stuff to offer you guys, so if you would like to learn more about what I have to offer, you can go to linktree slash the shaman and check out all my links. Um, I, ha I do have a Patreon where like the easiest, like the, the most affordable option is like 15 bucks a month it's not bad and uh you know the patreon is where i offer my courses here i offer my self transformation course where i do kundalini yoga i do qigong and this new lightning qigong energy um and then i have the qi uh, cosmic qigong course so um you know um that's a great a great option for you um you know, Qigong is great for um, just relaxing the mind, relaxing the mind and, and getting us into like a meditative state. So this is, these things are active meditations. We have, you know, pat passive 
uh, passive meditations where we try to empty our mind. Uh, but then we have the active meditation where we tap into our body and we let our body move and we flow with the energy. And this is what the uh, Cosmic Qigong is all about and what the uh, Self-Transformation Challenge is all about. So, you know, if you guys are interested in meditation or anything like that, check those out. You can go to patreon.com slash shaman or linktree slash shaman. Okay, guys, so until next time, we'll talk to you later. Peace.